All right, in this video I want to do an example of a word problem involving averages, and I think this is probably a question most all of us can relate to or have asked ourselves um, or our teacher. So suppose your grade is based on four tests so that are worth 100 points each, and you've got a final that's worth twice as much, so 200 points. Suppose your test scores, suppose you made an 81 on the first one, then you slipped a little bit and made a 70, but then you pulled it, you know, you came out strong, you made a 94 on test 3 and a 92 on test 4. And if you want to make at least an 80% in the class, what's the minimum score that you have to make on the final? That's what we're going to try to figure out here. So again, we've got to keep in mind that the, uh, the final is worth twice as much, so 200 points. There's you know, a couple different ways that you could go about doing this. To me, the easiest way to calculate, you know, sort of a, a grade as a, as a percentage, to me, I always think about it as being, um, you know, the number of points earned. So the number of points that you've made in the class divided by the total uh, number of points possible. And that's going to equal your grade as a decimal. Okay, so in this case, um, this is what we're going to try to, to try to think about a little bit. So, okay, so on the first test, we know that we made an 81. On test 2, we made a 70. On test 3, we made a 94. And on test 4, we made a 92. So we still have the final to take, so I don't know how many points I have to make on the final. So I'm going to call that X. So X is going to represent the grade I make on the final. Okay, well, how many points possible would it, you know, how many points could you possibly make in the class? Well, you could make 100 for each one of the first four tests, which would be 400 points. But then you can also make an additional 200 points for the final because, again, it's counted uh, for twice as much. And at the end of the day, we want that to equal an 80%, which as a decimal, we could write as 0 0.80. So now we have our nice little equation here that we're going to have to have to solve. So let's see. If we do the arithmetic in the numerator, um, I'm going to be lazy here and use a calculator. So 81 and 70 and 94 and 92. I'm getting that those first four numbers, 81, 70, 94, 92, that adds up to 337. Again, plus x. Well, 400 plus 200, that's 600 equals, again, we want that to equal 0.8, or at least an 80%. I should, you know, technically, you should, I, I should probably have a greater than or equal to, but I think the way I phrased the question was, what is the minimum grade you have to get? So we are solving for the minimum grade in this case. So, okay, well, I'm dividing, I, I, eventually I want to solve for x, so since I'm dividing both sides by 600, I'm going to multiply both sides by 600. So on the left side, that simply cancels out, and we're left with 337 plus x. Okay, so 0 0.80 times 600, that would be 480. Okay, and now we're simply going to subtract 337 from both sides. Okay, so 480 minus 337, what is that? I believe a 143. So it says you need to make 143 points out of the total uh, 200 points out of the 200 available points out of the 200 available points on the final. So what does that mean as a percentage? Well, again, so we need to get at least a 143 out of 200. So let's see, 143 divided by 200. It says you've got to make at least, um, so this is 0 0.715, which would be a 71.5%. So you need to make a little bit over a 70 <clears throat> to ensure that you at least keep um, an 80% average in the class, which at least in college um, in, the, in the U.S. would be a B. So it says all you have to do is make a little bit over a 70 to maintain your B average.
So, again, you know, there's a couple different ways to go about this problem, but at least when it comes to computing grades, this is how I always do it. Again, you know, I just think about the number of points that you've earned out of the total number of possible points and set up a little equation, solve it, and then I'm able to figure out the grade that I need.